D's, buddies, ch, ums, chums, ami, goes, amigos, p, owls, pals, fr, frothy, frothy. No, no, listen. Fructose. 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 Mm -mm. Fr. Ontogenesis. Frontogenesis. Why aren't you saying that? Sorry. Sorry. I, I, I'm, I'm with you this time. Okay. Okay, right. Mashed pate. Toes. Thanks for that. I'm John, he's Brandon, and we're friends. That's correct. We know each other so well, we can finish each other's... Soup. Taco soup. That is true. We both do like taco soup. You know what they say, friends are friends for... For as long as the money's rolling in. Some people do say that, but not us. Never. No, no, we are as close as two peas in a pod. Poncherello. Broncherello, that's 1970s motorcycle cop show of chips. Yeah, we know each other so well. Hey, can you guess what I'm going to say next? Of course! Please, Please welcome, welcome someone, someone who knows, knows stuff. stuff! All right! Woo! <laughs> All right. Welcome, welcome! Yeah, please, sit down. I'm actually used to standing, if you don't mind. Oh, no, sure, we'll stand up too. Oh, uh, yeah, no problem. Uh, tell us who you are and what you know. <laughs> I'm Sally Joggins, and I'm a water volunteer for Marathon Runners. A water volunteer? That's right. When Marathon Runners are in the middle of the race, they can't just stop off at any watering fountain. That's where I come in. So, so you give water to runners as they run by? I don't just give out water. Anybody could do that. I assess the runner's approximate fatigue and dehydration levels, and then I quickly provide them with the amount of fluids they require to keep them in the race. Heads up, let's go, you're at the 16th mile mark, you're killing it. Are you at a, 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 are you at a marathon right now? I sure am. Oh cool, how many, how many races have you volunteered for? I volunteered for 278 marathons, half marathons, triathlons, and fun runs all over the US, the UK, and twice in Canada. Wow, that sounds like... You've got this. You're making great time. Let's go. Go, go, go. I love how you're trying to motivate the runners as they go by. Is that something that you always do? Absolutely. You know, after you run so many miles, your body starts to tell you, I don't want to run anymore. Give up, it says. Go take a nap. Oh, I've heard that voice. Right. So I'm over here trying to be the voice that says, you can do this. Keep going. I'm encouraging them. Well, that's pretty... Hey, it's up. Let's go. Yes, you've got this. Come on. You're almost there. Keep going. Help me out. Oh, uh, go. You, you can do it. Yeah, run. Put, put the bottom of your feet on the ground repeatedly. Run. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for coming on to the show, Sally. I feel more encouraged just having you here. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure we can keep going without you. Hey, don't you quit on me. You get out there, do the show, and finish strong. Do you hear me? I hear you. You've got this. You're the best person for the job. I am. Oh. <laughs> I am amazing. Mm. This is amazing. This is the best water I've ever had. Only the best for the best. Thanks. Now you get out there and you keep encouraging people right now. I always do. Go. Keep going. You're the best. Go, go, go. You're the best, Brandon. I know you are. I know. <laughs> It's Bible story time with Kellen. What up, guys? Hey, Kellen, you got a story for us? I do have a story for you. You can read it yourself in the books of First and Second Kings, or you can stick around and watch a little human head puppet theater. Thank <laughs> you. 
Around 3,000 years ago, God chose a man named Elijah to be one of his prophets. Hello, I am Elijah. I am a prophet of God. He reveals himself to me and relates what he requires. Elijah was waiting on the mountain when God revealed. God spoke to Elijah. Elijah. Lord. Go to the desert of Damascus. Anoint Elisha as the next prophet after you. Lord, why are you whispering? Because I want you to listen. Oh, that makes sense. Go. So Elijah left the mountain like God told him to. And he found the man that would one day take his place, Elisha. Okay, these names are going to get confusing. Uh, do these help? They do. Thanks. While Elisha was out plowing in the field, Elijah went up and threw his coat around him, a symbol that Elisha had been chosen as the next prophet. Elisha! Oh, what? Here you are. Dude, what does this mean? You will one day take my place as prophet of God. Oh, far out. No, no. Right here. Righteous. Yes. Uh, I will follow you. Good. Let's go. Oh. So, Elisha became Elijah's servant. And for many years, Elisha followed Elijah everywhere. But then the time came for God to do something very special with Elijah. Elijah was going somewhere that Elisha couldn't follow. Elisha, oh. stay here. The Lord wants me to go to Bethel. Just as sure as you and the Lord are alive, I'm going to stay right by your side. <gasps> Dude, I rhymed! <laughs> so they went down to Bethel. In Bethel, some prophets asked Elisha if he knew that God was taking Elijah to heaven that day. Yeah, I know. Be quiet. Elisha, oh. stay here. The Lord wants me to go to Jericho. Jericho's the place where God's sending you. But sure as you're born, I'm going there too. Oh, dude, I rhymed again. Ah, what? So they went to Jericho. In Jericho, some more prophets asked Elisha if he was aware that God was taking Elijah to heaven that day. I know. What does everyone keep bringing it up? <sighs> Elisha, Ooh. stay here. <laughs> the Lord wants me to go to the Jordan River. <gasps> If I've told you once, I've told you three times. If you're going someplace, I'm going to go there also. I couldn't think of a rhyme. So they walked to the Jordan River. A group of 50 prophets followed them to the river and stopped nearby to watch what happened next. Whoa! What are we supposed to do now, swim? Just watch and be amazed. Am I supposed to be amazed yet? I'm trying to take off my coat. Oh! You, you, you want me to help? No, no, oh. just, just let Kellen do it. Oh, yeah. Will do. Elijah took off his coat, rolled it up, and struck the water with it. Tell me, after we walk through the river on dry land, what can I do for you before I'm taken away? Oh, please give me a double share of your spirit. That's a tough one. Oh. But if you see me when I'm taken away from you, then you will get what you have asked for. If you don't see me, you won't get it. Okay, but what exactly am I looking for? Suddenly, there appeared a chariot with horses made of fire. Ooh. 
Something like this, I should think. I see it. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, goodbye, Elijah. You've always been a father to me. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wow. Woo! He disappeared. He went into heaven, dude. On a big chariot. Oh, I'm going to honor him with a great piano piece. After Elijah had been taken up to heaven, Elisha used Elijah's coat to cross back over the Jordan River. When the group of 50 prophets waiting there saw Elisha crossing through the Jordan River on dry land, they knew Elisha had been given the spirit of Elijah. The end. Thanks for helping out, guys. Way to tell that story. Way to tell that Bible story, Kellen. You're amazing. Thank you for the encouragement. Hey, that's what friends do. It's true. That's what Elisha did for Elijah when he stayed with him right till the end. And what Elijah did for Elisha when he left a share of his spirit. And what God does for us when he gives us the Holy Spirit to help and encourage us through good times and bad. Great points, both of you, both of you. Now get out there and keep telling more Bible stories, Kellen. I will. Go, 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 go. Uh, oh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, okay, here we go. Woo! You're good at that. Encouraging people? Thanks. Oh, that and yelling. Good. Then reveal the question. When has someone encouraged you? You encouraged me when I was learning how to juggle potatoes. That would have worked if you hadn't baked them first. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and you encourage me every day. That's because you're the best. You are. You are. <laughs> Talk about it together. Yeah. When has someone encouraged you? Yeah, we'll see you guys next time for a brand new song. song. I'm telling you, you are. You are. You're the best. Dar. Fader. <laughs> Dar. Fader. <laughs> Churl. <laughs> Lanthropist. <laughs> Lanthropist. <laughs> Lanthropist. Cla. Mms. Cla. Cla. P. Cla. Jesus, you have been so faithful. You have been so true I will be forever thankful Cause I never had a friend like you Help me to be Who you've been to me To everyone I see Let us love one another with our love Like no other yet That's the way you love us, God Never turn away You are with us every day, yeah That's the way you love us, God Your love is always been You with me in the darkest valley You with me on the mountain top I'm thankful that you never leave me And that your love will never stop Help me to be who you've been to me To everyone I see Let us love one another with our love Like no other yet That's the way you love us, God Thank you for being a friend who saw